Hey everybody, it's Cheyenne. So today I'm gonna to be giving you advice on high school. So this is for the people who are entering high school or maybe who just need some advice to go through. And so I actually prepared a little chicken foot chart because why not? It's also known as a tree chart or whatever you wanna call it. And you know, I just thought it would help me not ramble too much. Okay, so the very first thing you wanna remember is just be prepared for everything. Bring your pencils, bring your books, bring your den, bring your brain. Obviously, bring your brain, because if you don't bring your brain, you're just kind of screwed. Alright, now the very first thing you want to remember is education. Now, the whole reason you want to put education first is because it's going to help you later in life, it's going to help you get a better job, and it is the most important aspect of going to school. Hence the name, high school. It's all about the education. Now I know. Sorry, I have a mint in my mouth. Now I know. You want to go, you want to go talk to your friends and have fun and go and go live like life is a dream. Sorry, my iPod's dying. But the whole thing you need to remember is that getting your education is what's going to help you later on in life to, you know, make sure that you can go have fun later on in life and actually live the life that you want to live instead of ending up on the side of the street. Okay? So, main thing you want to remember, education. Pay attention in class. Do your homework. Trust me, it will. Your teachers will love you, especially if you do this, because that's all they really want you to do. They want you to pay attention and do your work. They will be very happy if you are getting good grades and doing your work in class. Stop talking so much. I know you want to, but how would you feel if someone just walked into your conversation, interrupted you, and started talking to your friend? That's pretty much what you're doing in class to the teacher. Okay? Not all teachers are going to be cool and awesome and let you talk all the time. And even the cool ones are going to want you to shut up when they're talking. So just remember that if the teacher's teaching, or if you're taking a test or something, quiet. Okay? It's not hard. I promise you. And you will have time to talk to your friends like when you're doing work or when you have some free time because hey the teacher finished teaching you all did your work and you have free time trust me it happens I promise you it's not the end of the world if you have to wait a little bit to talk to your friends okay not all teachers are gonna be awesome and let you talk not all teachers are gonna be awesome and just not all teachers are gonna be awesome in general there actually are some sucky teachers in high school even when you are quiet and paying attention just remember that getting angry at them and acting out is only going to hurt you more than it's going to hurt them and you really don't want that to happen so just keep your education in mind because it is very important Woo got through the first part it's 11 11 in my world everybody make a wish okay number two in this is honesty now honesty is important because it's going to help you with your relationships it's going to help you with your friendships and it's just going to help you with school and life in general People look forward to talking to you and they'll come to you for advice and such when you're honest because people want honesty. And you're going to put yourself around the better people, the people who you want to be around, who aren't going to talk about you behind your back. The more honest you are, the more people, the more good people that are going to be around you. Trust me, being honest in high school actually helped me get a lot of the friends that I have and I'm very happy with the friends that I have because they're awesome just like you are, and I know you can be awesome, even awesomer, so just stay honest, okay? Promise me? Promise? Trust me, honesty is what's going to get you loyalty, it's what's going to get you trust, and it's what's going to make you happy in high school. So just remember to be honest, and be true to yourself, okay? Because you are awesome, alright? Remember to love yourself as well. It's not on my list, but love yourself, because that shouldn't have to be on a list for you to remember. You are amazing and awesome, and you matter. And I love you, so you should love you. Don't make me climb through this screen and come and get you. I will make you dance for the rest of your life. Okay, so maybe for a couple of minutes, but you know, what's whatever. Alright, number three is life in general. Now, of course, you want to remember life in general. Because, hey, it's going to help you with your relationships. It's going to help you with your jobs. And yes, it's going to help you with school. When you have your life together, everything else will come together. If you have your life in shambles, then yes, it's going to feel like everything's in shambles because you're going to feel stressed out and you're going to freak out. So, just remember that life is life. It's going to be hard sometimes. It's not always going to be easy. It's never going to slow down. Trust me. I'm sorry. Life is just the way life is. It does whatever it wants. 
All right. So just remember, hey, life, it's life. Have fun, do what you need to do. Get through life, get through high school, and you'll be great. So let's get to relationships just because I wanna kinda get through here. So we're gonna go back up to the honesty rung, go into relationships. So I mean friendships right now, but um, we're gonna start with friendships and then we're gonna move to love. So honesty helps in friendships because it's going to get you those friends that help you and that want to be honest with you as well and who aren't going to talk about you behind your back. Another thing you should remember with friendships, being popular is not all that. Trust me, the more popular people, especially the ones that were at my school and any of my old schools because I actually moved around quite a bit being the daughter of a military man. But... The more popular groups are the ones who tend to talk about each other behind each other's backs more. Trust me, that is what I noticed in high school. The more popular people, the more people who were backstabbing you. Alright? So just remember that being popular is not the most important thing. Actually, sometimes it's better to hang out with people who might not be the most popular, but they stand out. I mean, I look like I'm insane. I'm not the most popular person in the world. I look like I'm insane, and... I'm honest and I try to be as loyal as I can. Well, actually I am as loyal as I can be because if you mess with my friends, I will be very nice and just punch you in the face, you know. Because I'm a pacifist and I'm about to pass a fist right across your face. But anyways, so just remember that being honest in friendships is actually going to help you find those friends who are going to be there for a lifetime. Another thing that you should remember in high school the group that you have coming in from middle school may not stay together because people change throughout high school. So just remember that it's okay to lose friends. It's gonna hurt like hell, but trust me, you're gonna live through it as long as you just stay strong. Another thing you should remember, forgive and forget because holding grudges is not gonna help you through high school. All right, next is love. All right, so if you're in one of those relationships where it seems like it's bad, maybe he's too controlling, maybe she's too controlling, maybe she's hitting you and beating you up, Maybe you feel like they're cheating on you. Maybe um, they're flirting with everyone. If you're in a bad relationship, get out of it. Forget about it. It's not going to help you. I know you feel like you love this person, but it's probably not helping you at all. Okay? Um, and for those of you who are in a happy relationship, remember that even happy relationships have fights. So if you get in a fight, don't end it just because, you know, you had a fight. Because... Even the best relationships have fights, you just have to make the whole relationship worth the fight. Now another thing that you need to remember is that not every relationship is going to last throughout high school. Yes, I know that the boyfriend or girlfriend you think you're with right now is going to last forever because you are honey boo boo and baby, baby bear, but it's not going... 90%, there's a 90% chance that you're probably going to end up broken up by the end of high school and with someone else. And that is perfectly fine because entering high school, you are probably not ready for a real relationship, which I know that probably like, what is she talking about? Oh my gosh, no, I'm so ready for a relationship. Oh, blah. I do that a little too well sometimes. Trust me though, you're probably not ready for a relationship entering high school because you're probably, you probably don't have that maturity set of you know, understanding that a relationship is not always going to work out. You probably still think that, hey, it's going to be forever. And that's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine to not be ready for a relationship. It's perfectly fine to be in a relationship, even if you're not ready for one. Just know that you may not be ready for one, and it's okay to not be ready for something. So if you enter a relationship and they're trying to make you do something that you don't feel you're ready for, it is fine to back away and say no, okay? Alright, so, um... Yeah, that's pretty much that. I love you guys so much. If something helped you out, hey, let me know. I always love to know that I helped people. If you have anything on any advice that you do need, comment down below or in my email in the description, and I will do my best to answer it. If you don't want it in a video, just let me know. If you want it in a video, hey, let me know, but you don't want your name mentioned, go ahead and tell me. And uh, if you have any song suggestions, because I also do songs, let me know in the email in my email in the description or in the comments below and I will do my best to get to it. I love you guys so much. Stay you. Let's dance a little bit. Okay, now that I've made myself seem crazy and hopefully you guys are dancing with me because like, like I've said before, it's no fun to dance alone and you should always dance because you should have more fun in life. And hey, it kind of brings down your stress level anyways. 
So always remember to dance. Thank you all for watching. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Especially subscribe if you want to see more. And if there was something you didn't like, make sure to comment below and let me know so I can get better. Anyways, I really do love you guys so much. My next advice video should be coming up soon because I actually had more than one advice idea for my friends because my friends are awesome. Like I said, honesty is key. But once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you later.